Stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. I moved to this awful city. Everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's... Crane. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit! Crane's been... <clears throat> oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the trip Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Bigby. Wait! What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful... When you tell her. I know. No, you don't know. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. she was truly close to. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't, um, offend you by claiming one day that... that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. I'll miss worrying about I you. Also know that I'll miss our the fights. Memory of Lily I'll will miss you, as well. Holly. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning. Now you will never die from and indifference. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about life. what you've Goodbye, always been so sweetheart. grateful to share with me. Thanks for everything. Your memories of her, Vivian. How she could be stubborn and patient, rash and thoughtful. You were a How big, she carried bright, a torch for the old ones, in this for tradition, shithole for, of a town. Um, and I miss you already. 
And most of all, it seems how Lily loved, dearly loved her friends and family. She loved being around them, in good times and bad. I never met Lily, but from what I've been told, I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's- He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Look, Holly, I'm not here to start trouble. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help, and I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I... I know, but... This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane? Crane. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking Crane murdered Lily and you expect me to- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but... Just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Crane. Yeah? I can't believe this. This is someone I've worked with for decades. This is a guy... He gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean, what are you telling me? It, it's all an act? Just, what have you found? Bigby? What's going on? Snow, Crane is completely obsessed with you. Oh my god, if this is about how Crane treats me at work... Just I... listen to me for a second, alright? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. He replays your story over and over again. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I thought, uh... I thought that Crane might be looking for you. Uh, I thought you might be in trouble. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Nerissa? 